Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Hyatt Hall of Eight in Seattle, Washington. Today, I will be giving you a tour of room 754, as well as showing you some of the amenities that this hotel has to offer. All right, so welcome to a standard room here at the Hyatt Hall of Eight in Seattle. So here we have a full length mirror and inside is a closet. So here you have a safe, extra pillows, iron, and some storage space. And over here we have lots of hangers and a nice cozy room. And if we turn around here, there is the bathroom. All right, so you have a standard sink, some cups, a mirror, some nice body lotion, tissues, and down here there is a hair dryer as well and some extra towels and a bath mat. And in here we have our lovely shower. They provide you with shower gel, shampoo, and conditioner. And the water pressure is really, really good. All right, and through here we have the main sleeping area. So there's a coffee maker, you got some tea and some coffee pods. And then there's an ice bucket down there as well. And down here is a cooler and there were two full water bottles when I first arrived. And I did already sleep in the bed, so it's not made up perfectly, but it was super comfortable and I had a great sleep. And over here is our TV, desk chair and a lamp. And there's an okay view of the city of Seattle. And over here you have your light, chair, and side table. And then there is also an alarm clock. And when I first got here, they provided me with this paper that outlines the Wi-Fi password, the spa hours, and pool hours as well as their two dining options, the bagel shop and Tidal. And for dinner tonight, I will be ordering from the Tidal restaurant. I'm gonna get takeaway and bring it back up to the room and eat, eat it in here. All right, so from the Hyatt Olive 8 restaurant called Tidal, uh, yeah, Tidal, <laughs> as in Tidal Wave, um, I got the seafood chowder which looks amazing. So there's the seafood chowder, and then I also got the lobster mac and cheese, which also looks phenomenal. So time to dig in. Good night, and I'll show you all the amenities in the morning. All right, so this morning I went to the bagel shop and I got a jalapeno wow cheddar bagel with plain cream cheese and it looks amazing. There she is there. And I also got a iced mocha. And then just a cup of fresh strawberries. Looks awesome. So a brief pause from our hotel tour, but I cannot say enough about the staff here at the Hyatt Olive 8 in Seattle. I showed up super early at 11 a.m. and I was able to check in at that time, no extra charge. 
the next day I was planning to go out and do some sightseeing and they called me a taxi I think about four times because every time they ordered me a taxi somebody else jumped in the taxi before I had a chance to get in um, and they were super nice about that and then later on I was having difficulties booking my train back to Canada um, so they let me use the computer at the front desk and they booked me a bus back into Vancouver, which was super, super sweet of them. They did not need to do that. Uh, they definitely went above and beyond. Also, because I had to rebook uh, the train to a bus, it left later than expected. So I did have to check out on time, but they let me use the pool and sauna in the meantime. So I'm gonna show you some footage of that next. All right, here's a picture of the sauna and the steam room. These are located in the pool change rooms. And the change room area was massive. It had lots of extra amenities like free water, hair dryers, hair brushes, Kleenex, body lotion, razors, tampons, anything you can think of, this change room had it all. Also, the pool itself was super nice and the hot tub was located right beside these massive windows so you could see out onto the streets of Seattle. Um, but there was also some trees there as well, so you got a little bit of nature while you're sitting in the hot tub enjoying your vacation. All right, and that is the end of my tour of the Hyatt Olive 8 in Seattle. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned to my next series, which will take place in Alberta. We'll see you there.